President Obama making his case today for the Buffett rule. Under the proposal, which is, of course, named after billionaire investor Warren Buffett, no millionaire should, or nobody who has an income of a million dollars should pay less than 30% tax, federal tax, on that income. The president calls this a basic principle of tax fairness. But is this good policy or pure politics? That debate now with Jared Bernstein, former econ economic advisor to Vice President Biden. And Dan Mitchell also joins us, senior fellow uh, at Cato. Dan, whatever you personally think about it, it's real good politics. If Obama can stand up, let's assume with Mitt Romney, in a debate and say, you don't pay enough tax and I'm going to make you pay a fair rate of tax for a lot of people, that is an election winner. It may very well be. I'm not an expert on the politics, but on the economics, I can tell you this much. All of the income that uh, these so-called rich people are getting, interest, capital gains, dividends, it's all been taxed at the corporate level already, 35 percent, the highest corporate tax rate in the world. And now Obama and Buffett, I guess, want to increase the double taxation on that. We already have the fourth highest dividend and capital gains tax rate in the world. Under Obama's plan, not even counting the Buffett rule, just counting the stuff in his budget, we'd have the highest dividend tax rate in the world and the second or third highest capital gains tax rate in the world and I don't care whether you're liberal or conservative free market or statist that is not good in a competitive global economy if we want jobs and prosperity in America Jared do you pay is there double taxation here I know in the UK you actually get a tax credit for your dividends in order that they're not double taxed does that not happen here at the federal level no, that's, that's largely a canard. Uh, most of the income, particularly if you talk about small businesses, uh, is passed through income. It doesn't go through the corporate side of the tax code, so it certainly doesn't face double taxation. By the way, if you want to get worried about double taxation, you could talk about wage earners who pay a payroll tax and often a sales tax as well. Look, this is about basic fairness. You heard it a million times. It just doesn't make sense, and you had it exactly right, Simon. Uh, for folks whose incomes are in the stratosphere to be paying rates of 15% or less. And in fact, one of the things we learned from uh, this discussion today is that there are about 22,000 millionaires out there who, uh, in, in the most recent data, paid about 15 percent or less in their income tax, in their federal income tax, and about 1,500 of them paid zero. Now, you know, the typical middle class person is, is facing a, a tax rate in the neighborhood of 15, 18 percent. It's just not fair. Dan, we were showing a graphic just now that also demonstrated that since the 1960s, they take uh, the average percentage that taxpayers within that top range have paid has fallen very, very dramatically. That we have seen, as a matter of fact, have we not, less taxes being paid by the rich over that period. Oh, no, no. A uh, key distinction there. Their tax rate has fallen, but the share of taxes they paid has gone up. What we see in action is a Laffer curve. When we lowered the tax rate on the rich people, and let's face it, they have lots of accountants and lawyers and lots lobbyists and, and financial planners, when we lowered the tax rate on them from 91 percent, Kennedy lowered it to 70, Reagan then brought it down to 28, what happened? Rich people decided to go ahead, earn their income, declare their income, and that's why today we get more revenue from the rich as a share of taxes paid than any other country in the okay. world, even some so, of those left-wing welfare states well, in Europe. So let me clear this up. First of all, just to be very clear about this, the idea of the Laffer curve, which I kind of think is laughable, is, is not that it would end up with rich people having a whole lot more money. The idea is it would generate more growth than jobs, and it demonstrably has failed on that measure. No, you're absolutely right, Simon. And what's happened here is that uh, the reason the uh, average tax rate of uh, rich people has gone down so much is because uh, taxes have been cut quite dramatically at the top of the tax uh, uh, yeah. uh, code here, but, but, but while, they're their income, while, income. while they're paying while more income, they're paying more tax. While, while their incomes have gone up so much, the reason they're paying a larger share of the taxes is because the vast bulk of the growth has gone their way, and that's why we have these 15, 10, 0 percent tax rates for guys. This is guys. Would you rather this, have the rich <laughs> have a high tax rate and not collect any revenue, guys, or a low tax rate and collect more revenue? This is a really important debate, but unfortunately, we set it up. We got you. Okay. Both in, and we ran out of time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you both.